Well, right now, as far as tourism is concerned, uh, with the situation here in Libya, uh, tourism is uh, a vision. We do have a great hope uh, for Libya in the near future. Uh, there's endless amount of tourism here in Libya. Strategically, Libya being in North Africa, uh, facing Italy and facing the southern France, uh, Europeans would find no better place uh, only an hour or an hour and a half away to come to uh, than Libya. Uh, the ruins that we have, the Greek and Roman ruins, are uh, untouched and so beautiful. In the south, you've got so many different things. You've got the beautiful Mediterranean Sea, and you've, you've, got, you've got the ancient uh, artifacts that are here, and then you've got the Sahara Desert, which is also beautiful. We've got a lot, and the mountains also in uh, the Green Mountains uh, in the east. Uh, so I really do think that within the next five to ten years that tourism, this will be the hot spot for the world to come to. Well, as you know before, in the Qaddafi regime, there was uh, billions of dollars invested in tourism. I think that what the problem is, is not the problem of reinvesting. I think it's the problem of restructuring old contracts uh, with foreign investment and, and government investment here to move forward. You know, I think that uh, probably if they invested within the next five years an amount of about two billion dollars, they can see enormous returns in the very near future. Most of it is uh, a lot of government consulting, a lot of government contracts for infrastructure, for uh, natural resources. Uh, Libya is a very rich and viable country for a lot of different uh, sectors. Uh, I met a gentleman here that had a study that said a 50 kilometer solar, uh, so solar sections 50 kilometers wide could uh, give enough energy for Italy to light up 365 days out the year. So, I mean, you've got so many different sectors. Libya is rich not only in oil and gas. Uh, it's rich in tourism. The coast uh, in Libya is, is definitely endless. Uh, you've got old civilizations in the mountains, in the, east, in the western mountains, I'm sorry, Nafusa Mountains, that date back about 3000 uh, uh, BC. Uh, you've got uh, in Sabha, and in Ghadam is a UNESCO, a UNESCO uh, site. Uh, you've got so many beautiful uh, cities within Libya. And uh, for the business tourist that is looking for an opportunity, Libya being a country that is so virgin, so to speak, uh, you know, starting with infrastructure and working your way all the way up, uh, it's, it's definitely an opportunity for someone to uh, come and make a deal.